Uh -huh. Hello, welcome to a one versus one between Albert and Zar. The remake. This time Zar is night elfing it up. Look at that parallel building. Altar of Elders and Moonwell. Boom! Same time. Hmm. And the map is Echo Isles, in case I didn't mention that. Albert's favourite map. It means that he can't run off and uh, creep to level 5 so easily. He's actually got to put some effort in. Oh. I might not be able to talk too much. I'm going to try to keep the commentary flowing, but I am not too well. So, my voice... It is... Waning. It's like the guy off Malcolm in the Middle. I can't remember. Stevie, that's it. <laughs> it's so like when he commentates. He doesn't commentate, but when he speaks, he's like... Albert... Is... Building... An altar. <laughs> so that's how I feel, pretty much. So, uh, yes. We can see that Albert is making his Archmage. I don't think Albert's strategy is probably going to differ much. I think he could do one versus one on pretty much any map and he's going to do relatively the same thing. I never use strategies. I don't care to know any strategies. I don't care to know them. I just don't care. <laughs> just stop at that. Put a full stop after, I just don't care. I'll just play. I'll just literally just build and move units and whatever happens happens basically ah the wisp thought it could get away with it a little bit of sneaky uh, spy in there green color i like it it means you blend in with those trees maybe not so easily the green color does actually show up quite brightly on the map it's not such a cheat color if you want the cheat color it's dark green or brown those are the cheat colours. Here comes the footman to try and harass, although the footman against the warden is going to be in a lot of trouble. It's a good little tap there from the Ancient of War. This is a footman that's worth just hanging around to kill, to be honest. But it does make you wonder what would happen if you did bring your warden straight away to the enemy. Oh, that's going to be so unfortunate. Denied. Albert managed to deny Zar the experience there, which is very unfortunate there. I think Zar deserved that, but... The Warden would get here and it would still be too late, I think. The Archmage is so quick to creep. Especially with those militia all over the place. Go on, Ancient of War. Very good for creeping. It's fine to use it, but for green spots I probably wouldn't even bother so much. But this is one versus one and you have to play a bit more properly, so... I understand that you would probably still get away with doing this and this would be acceptable, but I'd feel more inclined to build it, I don't know, to do the orange spot than anything else. Because that's where the Ancient of War is really going to pay off. Versus a green spot, you can probably do it without the Ancient of War. Here come the militia. It looks like Albert is going to be making his way for an expansion. Good scout here from the Wisp. At least Sar is going to know what's going on, even if that wisp does get killed. He's going to be right, that got killed. Let's look at the minimap. I see where that is. Right, we know what he's doing. The only problem is, is that he is very far away. So make your way there now. Let's see if you can get there before all the creeps are dead. We'll find out. There's a lot of DPS coming down here from Albert. There's a good chunk of militia, a good chunk of water mentors. Ain't even a couple of footmen along with that archmage. Wow. That made very light work of those creeps. They are very easy to kill. Footman scouting here just to check around. Albert map hacking again as usual. And here comes the warden. And there's not even really a weak um, peasant to sort of pick on here. So he's going to go for the footies instead. But he's still not going to be as strong as the archmage. And the water momentum is out. This is looking nasty for Zar. Very nasty. He's chosen to go for the fast tech route, which means dryads, I assume. Dryads and maybe Naga afterwards, or something like that, or Panda, Tavern Hero, Beastmaster. <laughs> He's just sort of playing around here. The Warden is pretty screwed, though, to be honest. Not very good, and it's only going to get worse. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Look at the little raccoon. Listen to it. Not 
Don't listen to the email noise. It's the Rakeem. Oh, that's it. The Warden fought it. Ah, he's going to sneak out. The Archmage is going to try and keep on it. But I don't think he will get the Warden unless she gets cut up any more than she already is. Putty is actually getting away with a bit of murder in Zar's base with the Wisps. Very cheeky. Now, Sir, Ancient of Law going down. Tavern Hero, maybe? No, not yet. Nothing coming out of the altar either. <sighs> See, this is strategy again. Night Elf will typically just go straight to a. Oh, there it is. Sea Bitch. Naga Sea Bitch. She has been created, and she's going to be the second hero of choice for Zar. And that should be kind of handy against the Archmage, providing that Zar can find a way to actually do some reliable damage against the Archmage without him running away and getting away. And that's a good way to do it. The Warden Shadow Strike plus the Frost Arrows is going to pretty much keep the Archmage under control until he gets out of range. And then he goes back into range. I'm not sure what Albert was doing there. That is a huge mess up there from Albert. He really didn't want these Ancients of Lore to go down. I can kind of understand his suicidalness. Just say for argument's sake, if he did get away with killing both of these Ancients of Lore, which this one might go up, especially if it gets repaired. Although it might still go down, but it shouldn't do. He needs to repair it now. But say, for example, he did get away with killing both of those. That's pretty big. That would almost be worth losing everything. Because... Whilst he... You know, gave away a bit of experience get slowed down by losing his hero, has to get it back. Slowing down those Ancients of Lore can really hinder the enemy player. Especially when you've got an expansion that's already harvesting gold. But uh, <laughs> I don't think he intended to lose his Archmage the way he did. So that's a good turnaround for Zard to be honest. But he's going to have to do more as in go straight and expand or punish that expansion of Albert's but I would go get my own expansion to be honest if I was him because it would be a lot easier than going against the towers at this point with just a few drives. Ah oh, my voice! We need more wood for the drives anyway. He's going straight in for the kill Albert trying to get a couple of towers out offensively in his base this could be enough though to be honest Albert may have that expansion, but once again, he lacks the production buildings to actually build anything that's going to keep him alive. Providing Zar can keep the pressure on without losing too much here. He has the strength. He has the power. Keep on going, Zar. Oh, the Naga Sea Bitch is level 2. Back on the Archmage whenever you can. Keep that pressure on him. Keep the archers away from those footies. Ah, teleport is being used to the expansion. Time to go heavy on those towers. They're going to go off, actually, I think, a couple of those. Oh, the towers are going to go off, and that is it. It doesn't matter anymore. Zar so can't harass against the guard towers. No. That's it. Get out now. Get out. You had your chance. Excuse me. God. Oh dear, I don't feel too good. Alright. Albert still messing around with that Archmage. Almost trying to goad the Warden into coming in for another attack against his Archmage. Mountain King is halfway through being built. And Zar. It's actually got a lot of resources. It's taking up bears, maybe would be good to start moving towards bears. He's actually going for glaive throwers. I think he's probably a bit late for those now. Yeah, we got Arcane Sanctum and Workshop going down. So Albert's starting to wet his beak with a few other units that aren't just footies. So that's nice. Now, so Gonna get himself an expansion? Gonna do something he should have done a long time ago? I think so. Ogre Magi, you are not gonna last very long. What are you gonna drop? Unnecessary Shadow Strike. 
results in a crappy item, ring of protection plus two. Putty scout again with the map hack. Is he gonna spot the glaive for her? Probably. Got another footy here that if he gets one more bout from this little frisky murloc knight crawler, he might die just from the poison dot alone, but he won't. Because he's got back. And he's going off to scout as well. There's the footy. Well, he can see this glaive thrower, that's for sure. But he's not going for it, he's more interested in the wisps. Bizarre. A player's forces are under got attack. Bears, they're adept. The tech is almost done. Should see Master Bears soon. Maybe this isn't all in. I understand the Glaive Throwers now. They wouldn't be too bad, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he just needs to go now, to be honest. Go now. Do what you can with the Glaive Throwers. And keep the Bears to try and... Mm, they're still not comfortable fighting against the Towers. Even the Spellbreakers have got a little bit of range, so they can hit and run a little bit. And they're very effective against bears. And this is one, this is a real pet peeve of mine in like melee maps at Blizzard Create. Are mobs that basically fuck you over if you walk nearby them. I can't stand that. All mobs, they sh I know it promotes activeness and it's like you try to avoid them, but that's not cool. If it's going to be on a path, like a sort of a straight path towards your enemy base, they should move this up a little bit or something like that, so it can't the fuck the player over. Really attack. annoys me. Oh, mortars are going to be quite the threat to the glaive throwers. You're going to need some, yeah, map hack indeed, I'd say. You're going to need some wisps to keep those glaive throwers alive, I think. Keep the pressure on, it's not going to be easy. Come on, bears. That's it. Let's do this. He's in a strong position here, but Albert's, of course, going to be able to repair quite comfortably, so it makes this kind of painful, despite having the glaive throwers there to try and do some nice siege. But this isn't going to be that siege. comfortable for him. Keep going, those bears. Want more wisps, want more wood. Glaive throwers are going to have to run back. Bears need to get in on the action, do some DPS. Go, go, go. Spellbreakers. Are oh, very, very, very good units. These are quite nice little armies for both the players, but I think Albert is bringing it out now, and he means serious business. Mountain King is possibly going to go down. That's pretty damn gibbed. That is a gibbed Mountain King. There is no invulnerability pot this time for the Mountain King. But it's up to the bears now to be able to produce the DPS that Zara is so desperately afterwards. He's going for the priests. Good touch. I think he went for a couple of priests there. And you can do that kind of well with the Glaive Friars. But he did decide to get back. Which... I don't know. You could take that as a small little victory. Especially since he's got himself this expansion now. I suppose you want to look at it this way. You don't have to rush to kill the enemy's expansion. I always used to look at it as though you still did. It's like, well, it's annoying because it's there. It's a threat. How's all this? That's an interesting way to put it. Some caps. Yes. Right. Um, what was I saying? I was saying something along the lines of, yes, that was it. Basically, you could almost look at this, if Zar decided to just kind of keep the status quo and keep the fight and the balance even between the two, so neither player is particularly stronger than the other one, he would then have the advantage, because he's going to have more gold left in his expansion. So it's not always a bad thing necessarily to not get your expansion straight away, as long as you don't get too overwhelmed by enemy forces and enemy tech. And you can see Albert's really going for it. He's got spellbreakers, he's got morts, he's got, you know, sorceresses, priests. Although there are no upgrades for the sorceresses and priests, are there? Not yet. Just focusing on the units. He's going for 80 food. Meanwhile, Zar can't possibly be near 80 food himself. 56. Uh, Albert is going to be putting some pressure down. Oh, he's not stopping either. Look at that. Oh, no, now he is. Now he is. 
That was interesting. That was going to be a bit of a tell there. Whether if he was going to carry on and even go into high upkeep, then I could only assume he was going to do one thing and go all in. Now he might still go all in onto that expansion and try the, the pressure, but he's not going to go with as many units as he possibly could do in favour of trying to do as much damage as he can do whilst getting a reasonable income. And that is a bad place for the Warden to be. Oh, yes, blink out of there. I always call it blink. That's because it is blink. No, blink is the StarCraft 2 one. Or is it? What's that called? <laughs> blink. I can't see the spell, so I'm trying to think. It is blink. Oh, f I don't know what I'm trying to get myself confused with here, but whatever. We'll call it blink anyway. Ah, what we got up here? Yes, we're going to need to repair that main or not, because that's definitely going down now. It's too late for repairs. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. We're going to need more units. Tsar really stretching out here with the shims, potentially. Oh, he's, a, he's actually got a shim. Archmage is right in the front. This is perfect for Tsar. Perfect positioning for Tsar there. Really puts the Archmage into a bit of a worry there. Just keep heavy on him. Yeah, force a TP. Really interesting mix here. <coughs> Definitely go for the re-expand. Mort's vulnerable. 5,000-ish gold left in there. Now, really, this comes down to... Taking the creeps, I would say, on the enemy's player's side. If you could get away with taking those creeps and those creeps, as Saar, he's going to deny Albert any potential experience that doesn't involve actually killing Zar's units. And he's not that powerful. He's level 4 Archmage, very early, and level 2 Mountain King. We've got level 3 and level 3, so kind of even to be honest for Tsar. Feels like he's got the ca the power and the control because of the Master Bears, but it's not like Alba's got a small army, you know. And if these bears don't hold up and they get too easily focused down, it looks like Tsar could get himself into a lot of trouble, which is basically happening. There's the second bear about to go down, too much of a chase in that. Mountain King, with only a few bears left, all on low, yeah, half health, that's too tough. I think Sa was doing okay there. He could have hung in there a little bit longer, I think, if he didn't attack then. But that was an improvement. Anyway, thanks for watching, this has been Willie, please subscribe, like and comment, and I'll see you later.